Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can make manageable queries on Scopus. So this was a question that came up during my course. One of the participants asked me uh, that they cannot search a really long query on uh, Scopus. So what is it that we can do? So I did play around with uh, Scopus a little bit, and I've come up with this solution. So I guess it can help uh, anyone who is kind of doing uh, um, uh, searching uh, papers now using Scopus. OK, so let me start off with what you can see here. This is the search query or the concepts that uh, we want to search. Let's take that as an example. First of all, I would like what I will do is I'll break this into different ands. That's what I call try to call it. It's easier to visualize what is it that you are searching when you do break it down the different ands that you want to search. And our our intention or our idea would then be to kind of. Uh, Try to get all this information that we are looking for in the least amount of search uh, keywords. <clears throat> so I can see at the beginning, we are starting with thermal comfort as the first keyword, human comfort, and indoor comfort. So we're talking about uh, human comfort, thermal comfort. That is one uh, theme or concept that we want to search papers for. Uh, there are other terms as well. Occupant well being, thermal sensation, adaptive comfort, indoor environmental quality. I guess these are, I will not say synonyms, but these two concepts kind of relate with each other. It is about, uh, about heat, about comfort, um, and so on. Then the next concept is classroom, classroom, variations of the term classroom, or building, or Education buildings. So I might just take get rid of this bracket of or just keep an or like this. We're talking about thermal comfort in classrooms, in hot and humid, or warm, humid, or tropical environments. Okay, so that is seems like the three core concepts. We also want to look at energy efficiency. There's a wild card here that can pick up different types of words. And we then want to look at preschool, primary school, secondary school, university, uh, learning spaces, student institute. So something around the education building uh, types. We then want to look at naturally ventilated buildings or free running. And then uh, also look at what are the different strategies that are used, I guess, for building these kinds of buildings, air conditioning, mixed mode, uh, adoption. I don't know what this one is. If there is, if it is about adoption of these different uh, strategies, evaluation and thermal management. So these are all the probably the concepts or the things that we want to identify for the research that is being done on thermal comfort for educational buildings such as classrooms in a hot and humid environment. And educational buildings could be like schools, universities, and so on. So quite a few things that we have to search here. If we run this whole query as such directly, you may not be able to get any uh, search results. However, if you can break it down into smaller, manageable sized search queries and combine the results from these different queries, you will get a very holistic result. So let's see what, uh, what we can do. <clears throat> so in this case also, this uh, I will remove uh, these brackets within because it is all or. Okay, 
So this looks a little bit cleaner uh, when you look at the, the search query. All right, so when I thought about it, having looked at all these different concepts, I decided to break it into small manageable search queries and see different results. So first of all, I started with, uh, I think I started with this one, thermal comfort and classroom. So this was my first uh, search query. I just move it here. And then I tried two other keywords. So if you start, if you look at the very beginning here, there were three com three concepts here: thermal comfort, human comfort, indoor comfort. So I've taken the thermal comfort and indoor comfort. I could not get any results here. Uh, I don't remember what I got in this one. Let me have a quick look at this search results to see what I get. I'm getting 13 results for this. All right, so I've got 13 results for this, this keyword, thermal comfort, and I used classroom. Then indoor comfort and classroom, I didn't get any results. So I think this probably may not be required to be used as a keyword. Adapt and comfort, classroom, no results again. Occupant and classroom, I got eight results. When I changed from classroom to classroom without a space, I suddenly got a large number of results here. Okay, so which tells me that this term classroom is more commonly used in the research papers compared to this kind of a room which means now I need to check if I were to run this query again with class room, uh, what results I would be getting. So let me run that query and I'm getting 532 results. Okay, so if I take this, click here, 532 results just by taking off this one space, okay? So which kind of reiterates the fact that classroom is more commonly used than class slash room, a space room. All right, so now what I've done, having looked at those 490 results or say 532 results uh, for that matter, I've taken this query, thermal comfort and classroom, and I added secondary school. To that result because we wanted to know that thermal quality in classroom for a secondary school so there was no school in this uh, query but i thought i saw it somewhere um, no i think i might have come up with that on my own so what i did then i get i, I searched thermal comfort and classroom and secondary school so that gave me 29 results. Similarly, I searched for primary school. I got 50 results. And then I searched for university uh, with a wild card and I got 137 results. Okay, so if I were to write my systematic review and one of the themes that I had or that I may have, would be about thermal comfort for university classrooms. I know I need to look from these 137 papers. Yeah. Similarly, if I were to search, uh, if I were to write about thermal comfort in primary classrooms in primary schools, I at least have 50 papers to write about. So this is kind of helping me in creating some classification schemes as well. 
All right, so now what I will want to do is, uh, I took up some other keywords now, say an indoor environmental quality and classroom for results, but with classroom and even a, a wild card uh, gave me 133 results. Okay, let me move this up. So I'm getting some good and interesting search results. Um, and I'm, I, I see that I will uh, be making my list of research papers fairly shortly. Now I've gone a step further. I have added the concept of tropic, tropical, uh, because the study here is focusing on when uh, thermal comfort <clears throat> in hot and humid climates. And that was here. So that was one more and. And there were three words here, three phrases, sorry, hot, humid, warm, humid, and tropical. So I started off with tropical first, because that is a little bit more I thought it may be a bit, bit broader term rather than hot, humid, or warm, humid. So I ran this search, gave me 13 results. And within that, in Scopus, you have the option of search within the results. So that's a left on the left side, there is a small uh, search, search bar. I typed in hot, humid in double quotes. Okay, the double quotes is important here. Otherwise, it will just search for hot and humid separately. That gave me eight results. So now I know there are at least eight pap papers that talk about occupants, classrooms, tropical, and hot humid, these things. But what about, uh, say, university? So let me take this keyword, uh, this search string, and add tropical to it and see what results I get. And I got 17 results for this keyword, this key string, when I added a and P R O P I stock topic. So that was the 17 results. And if I search within the results for hot humid. I got nine results. Okay, so similarly, I could do the same thing for primary school, for secondary school, and so on. Uh, again, with an uh, indoor environmental quality and classroom, I can club that with some other keywords, some other key strings like this. So what I wanted to show you by doing this uh, is if you have a lot of concepts that you want to search for, and uh, bearing in mind, I have not searched for this, but uh, you can look into that uh, later. Uh, try to start with something very broad, like what I started was thermal comfort in a classroom and see which of the classroom variations give you some better results. So the word classroom here is getting me better results. So I've used that in the subsequent searches. Combine that with some other keywords and gradually build up uh, your search. And as you do, you realize that some combinations will actually help you with your research synthesis on how you are going to write the different sections of your systematic literature review paper in the synthesis section. Uh, so this could be one section. This could be another section. I could take this one. So first, I could just talk about thermal comfort and uh, in university classrooms because I have 17 results. Oh, sorry, not 17. I had 137 results. 
But then I can go a little bit more specific. I can say, what about tropical environments? I have 17 results. So you can gradually refine your search using these ideas. So I hope you watch this video carefully and uh, apply it to your search process and get a good list of papers in even in different categories like I have done here and see uh, if by following this, you get an improved results or not. All right, so thank you very much for this. Uh, and I hope you can learn by taking into uh, account these ideas that I have shared. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.